Now y'all like the how to make coins with any stack in Madden part three. I had to do this one, but it's a different one. This is how I'm preparing for the Super Bowl promo, which you see in front of us. Um, and there's a bunch of cards coming. Now, the first, there's two parts. Super Bowl pass, which is what we're going to be looking at here. Cam Chancellor, Terrell Davis, Warren Sapp. Then you're going to have your Super Bowl present with the Chiefs and Niners next week. We're focused on the Super Bowl pass. So I'm going to tell you how I'm preparing, what I'm doing, for not only for that, but for the overall changeover that's happening with this. Twitch.tv slash EA Madden NFL. you got to watch the Madden Bowl Part 2 today i always i'm recording this on wednesday y'all gonna be watching this on wednesday and then you need to tune in at 6 30. they will be revealing the super bowl pass players at that point in time obviously we got a bit of a teaser here so some of these are gonna get in gonna be in that promo hopefully you know terrell davis if he gets freight train i'll be happy because i love terrell and him and peyton hillis but nevertheless um that's what we're here to talk about boys how i'm preparing um how i'm gonna think about making coins and what i expect along with that and then all also the overall boost so Hit the like button, drop us up, I'm trying to give you guys more tips and stuff on what I'm doing in terms of the no money spent video. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hey, ain't we been through it all? Then we sleep on them floors. Everybody we thought we needed, we don't need them no more. Run it up, check the score. No, I'm balling on niggas. Okay, first things first, let me give y'all a team update. I told y'all I was going back to 50-50 goes, 25 Broncos, and that's what I did. Team works for me. Um, this is completely it. Um, we, I think we got to upgrade Tristan Wirfs to a 93. Yeah, he'll be a free 93. So I have to use 12,000 to upgrade him. The Colton McClivitz or that from the Niners gets a free upgrade or like 10 training. But this is a team. We got Travis Kelsey, zero P apprentice, and then everything else. 50-50 um, goes, 25 Broncos. So we made that happen. Went back to that. It was already built. We didn't have to do anything, but we did get rid of some cards by doing this. And those cards were some of the playoff cards. They were still going well over 400k, which I talked about in my video yesterday about some of these playoff cards. So if we look at some of these playoff cards, if I can, my stuff always bugs out here. If I can go to newest, and look at some of these playoff cards I've gotten rid of. Kevin Zeitler 420, Malik Hooker 420, Ryan Neal 14, Kevin Zeitler 418. Um. And that's it. I also sold a couple Brandon Ayukes that I sniped, which I'll talk about here in a second. Why I sniped these 92s and where I got them from. Sold them for 175 and 164 respectively. Now, the Super Bowl promo, I think, is going to be close to what the Ghost promo was. You remember how the Ghost promo got its own chemistry, but you can also use the Zero Chill chemistry? I think the Super Bowl promo is going to be something like that. So, these cards may rise, but I don't want to take a chance and have these cards sitting in 400k, specifically a right guard, free safety, strong safety. When I know 91s will come down and I can rebuild these for a little bit cheaper at a later date. So I sold those. Um, yeah, look, it could come back to haunt me. Um, I do believe I'll be able to get them cheaper if I want them back. But I'm happy with the Broncos theme team and the 50-50 Ghost as it's presently constituted. And until they give me a reason to go away from those, I won't go away from them. All right, let's talk about how we're preparing. Now, it started last Thursday. Last Thursday, if you weren't on, everyone got a free Calvin Ridley, what you see here. This Calvin really was rewarded because during the first, the 6th of January to the 9th of January, he was false advertised. So basically almost everyone got him. Now, what did that do? That cratered the receiver market. I mean, the ghost receivers were down to 140, which I bought a bunch of them, but I've already sold them back because they went back up to like 220, 230. So I made about 50K per. If you were on stream with us last Thursday, you've seen that. And then also, I've just been buying training too. So most of this training's been legend. Now, all my 93s on average is about 155, which is about 3.6 per. And then you can see all these, most of these are receivers, right? These Stefan Gilmore's I destroyed because when Calvin really came out, everyone got a free 95. So these 93s were obviously put on the block, right? So that's about, I can, that's not a 93, um, but let me, I can show y'all how many 93s in terms of training we do have. I think it's about 1.4 yeah about 1.4 million in 93s but then we also have 92s as well once we get down to the 92s now we know super bowl promo we expect it to go up to 95s with 96 ltds and they'll get two discounted ability buckets which is huge right which is absolutely huge but as you can see i'm sitting on some 92s as well um so we know we got 1.4 million in those and again this came from one legend saturday obviously you see a bunch of legends but also last week when Calvin Ridley was released, you can see I destroyed John De Deshaun Jackson. An average is about 90K. I got these Deshaun Jacksons for a couple of Mac Hollins for under 90K too. 
and then obviously legend saturday i went crazy a little bit on those too so you can see we got about 63 of these on an average an average about 96 to 95k so we've seen it in previous instances when a overall boost goes up we do two things we can either prepare for the the next promo in terms of the overall boost which i'm going to do and also i have the 93s to prepare for mystery packs if you don't know what the mystery pack rollover cheese is it's essentially where currently the mystery packs are in store at 8500 right and you buy them right now but you do not open the pack so if i was to quick sell 143 you know 1.4 million open all that up and their mystery packs it would just remain in my binder i mean excuse me in my unopened packs when i see the mystery pack is updated which I do believe is going to go to about 11,000 to 13,000 between there. When it updates, I can I know that my packs are going to update. Now, why, why this is going to be beneficial? If the cards get, if the Super Bowl cards get playoff promo, star elites that are coming out of this are going to be 88 plus overall, which means you'll get a guaranteed 88, which you can turn 88s to 91s, you can turn 91s into playoff cards. So that's another reason why I decided to get rid of mine. And like I said, the big thing, if the Super Bowl cards do have playoff promos, it keeps the playoff cards semi-relevant. So that way, when we do the mystery rollover, if we pull some days, we can make playoff cards and sell them at a higher value compared to the crater value that will happen. So that's two things I'm prepared for, the Super Bowl promo um, and also mystery pack rollover. I wanted to get down to like 10 million training. It's just that training has risen back up. Now it's about 3.6, and that's on the low end, the 87, 89s. I don't want that. I'd rather have 3.6, 3.7, 3.8 of the 93, 94s. But tomorrow, when um, they reveal the Super Bowl promo, if you guys want to be on the lookout for training, people might be selling off their team because they'll see the Super Bowl promo. Now, also, people may be buying it back as well if they see the Super Bowl promo has playoff chemistry. So I won't be able to be on. Um, but if you can be on, definitely make that happen. And that's it, boys. That's how I'm preparing for this week. It's simple that I know by the time you guys are seeing this, Wild card Wednesday, we got the Jamar Chase and a couple other cards. Doesn't even entice me one bit. Unless they start getting crazy discounts, I don't care. I really don't. We're preparing for the Super Bowl promo and then the overall boost that's going to come on that Thursday as well. So I have a bunch of packs here that I was saving for a video because it's a combination of competitive pass and my field pass packs. But I was like, why not? Let's open it. I actually need space in my packs for me to do mystery pack rollover so i can't have 20 plus packs just sitting here so we're gonna just get rid of these right here right now whatever we get out of them is fantastic we're not expecting much right maybe out of the touchdown packs uh, and maybe the playmakers i wanted to do a playmaker versus pro max fantasy pack opening kind of a pack battle because i've heard good things about those packs i've heard good things about those so i want to kind of do that that's something we may do at a later date 90 Marshawn Lynch. I skipped over the animation. You know, sometimes skipping over it is the move. Sometimes skipping it over it is definitely the move. Let's see. Let's try these playmakers. Like I said, I just I need space right now. So I with me doing this, this is not now these are like 84 plus, I believe. So we did get an 84 plus here. 87 Ed Reed. Okay, yeah, that's why I want to try these pro these playmaker packs. Now they may go up to 85 plus when the odd boost goes up. Okay. Is it just a full legend pack? Is that what we're doing here? Um, ah, there we go. See, that, that that's actually not too bad of a value. for Those cars in the auction house are 37K. You know, I'm pulling a car that's worth 10, 15K. Eh, you know, you could get glitchy though and pull like a 90 plus, but probably won't happen. But like I said, we're just trying to clear out our, our uh, unopened packs. So that way, you know, like I said, we got all this stuff, some Twitch drop packs and all that different stuff. So. We just been holding it and hoarding it. So, but yeah, man, that's what we're gonna be looking for in the next couple days. <sighs> it's gonna be a big next couple days. Absolutely, it's gonna be a big next couple days in terms of coinage, you know. And we're hoping that the Super Bowl promo one, the rolls are good, and two, the cards are good. To me, the rolls are more important than the cards for me because that's the replayability of the promo. If I'm able to enjoy and engage with the rolls, then obviously I can do some things, you know, have some training there open it up i can decide if i want to keep training or i can roll mystery packs in the cards that i don't sell if i keep for training i can quick sell and go back into you know the um super bowl promo roll which we'll probably do we'll probably test it out we will be live at content drop so definitely come through and check us out if you want to um i would greatly appreciate that um let's go through a pro playmaker here 
Um, like I said, I, I just need to get rid of these because I need all the space. Because I, like I said, I think I'm going to have probably over 300 packs in mystery packs. So, yeah, once you once you continuously open them and once you stop open them, my uh, open up open up packs won't be able to, I won't be able to open up any more packs until I open the packs that are actually in my unopened. So we need, we we need definitely need all the space we can. Uh, Chad Johnson, I don't think he's made a Super Bowl. So 92 Brandon IU, which you guys know, you've seen it before. I can sell him about 160k. That's actually a really really good pool. Wow. Um, Max Fanny Spec. That's a really damn good pool. Wow. 92. Brandon Ayuk, but yeah, man, we're just waiting. We've been chilling, man. We've been doing some couple things, like I said, on stream strategy card. Like I think the strategy card method is kind of dead. If I'm being, it's not dead, but because it still works. It just take cards takes so long to sell now compared to before. So um, do it at your risk. Like I said, I've been trying to sell a couple of strategy cards for the last day or so. It was great during the weekend, but now, like I said, people is caught on, so it's not really. As beneficial as it was we're gonna get rid of this blitz pack i'm just gonna pick joe titman the 91 right guard um i think that's the only one that even he's not even gonna entice me to be all be honest but it's the right guard never turned out off salaman five red zone packs four midfield packs let's see what we can do i'm gonna open up every single one of these red zone packs okay i have them all opened um so they should open automatically now our best pull is a Brandon Ayuk, which is a 92, like I said, which you know is about 160, 170K. Now I can keep him, but if a 92 is going for 160, I'm shipping it. I could easily, this line, the 92 mark is kind of adjusted right now. It's back up to 120. So if I wanted a lazy sale, the 92s I did have for 120, I can make about, probably about 13K per. But what I'm hoping is that, you know, at time these cards are announced tomorrow, that I thought that was like a Javon curse or something that these 92s go up to like 120. And that's why I have, I'm glad I got a bunch of Deshaun Jacksons because on the app now you can list in bulk again. So the ability to list in bulk is going to be absolutely huge to be able to list all those 92 Deshaun Jacksons up for 140. If it goes up to 140 or if it goes up to 130, whatever it goes up to. Um, I actually don't know what this pack, this pack, that pack is. Um, I think I pressed B on accident. All right. Four mil, more four mil for packs. And we're gonna out of here. So, hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Hopefully, I helped you out. Um, kind of what I'm doing. Like I said, 92s and training is all I've been investing in for the past week. Like I said, I want to get down to about 10 million coins, but I'm not just gonna go out to buy training just to buy training. It has to be the right price. Um, like I said, I bought. You seen how much I do have of 92s and 93s? Like I said, I think it's about three to four million in training alone. Um, I know it's about 10 million coins worth of into training right now is what i have so you know um yeah man we're ready to rock ready to rock and roll for the super Bowl promo hopefully it gives us some grows hopefully the cards are good and hopefully the replayability of the entire promo is good so that's it for me boys um be safe out there invest if you can like i said i think under 3.6 you're fine to do the mystery pack rollover just because that means you're opening up at 30k and you should be good i'm out deuces